Verse 6, And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamore tree. And then verse 7, We'll say unto him, By and by. I think by and by was often, or at once. We'll say to him at once, When he has come, come from the field, go and sit down to eat or to meet. Plowing or feeding will say at once to him. Verse 9. Doth he think that servant because he did the things that were commanded him? I think not. I trow not. That was I think not. Let's hear it. look at the Greek. I think not. Verse 21. A lot of the King James will say, Hence and thence, but it was here and there. Twenty-one. Here or there. Twenty-six and twenty-seven. Many of the King James will have Noe instead of Noah, but it was Noah. 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 26. Noah. Noah. It's 26. Noah. Son of Man capitalized. Noah. It's 31. In that day he shall be upon the rooftop and his goods in the house. So let's go look at the Greek, take his goods from the house, goods, and his goods in the house, underline, goods. 34, and I tell you, in that night, there shall be two men in one bed. Well, that was just two in one bed. So, look at verse 34, here in the Greek, two will be on one bed. Two will be grinding together. But you look at the King James. It wasn't men. There will be two on bed, one bed. Seven. And they answered and said to him, Where, Lord? And he said to them, Wheresoever the body is, there will the eagles be gathered together. See its underline? It's actually vultures. And body here was carcass. And I believe that's in Matthew or Mark. And here's another mind bender. This is chapter 17, verse 34. Is this what it says in your King James? In that night, there'll be two in one bed. The one will be taken, the other will be left. Two shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken, the other left. That's the original King James. In that night, there'll be two in one bed. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Verse 15. I don't remember infants, and they brought unto him children, and then when you go to 16, it was suffer the little children. The word the is missing. You can go and look 16 here in the Greek, the children. Verse 25, for it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Let's see what the Greek says, eye of a needle. Verse 31, and all things that are written by the prophets concerning the Son of Man shall be fulfilled. Not sure on this one. Just going off of the Greek. Be fulfilled, which have been written through the prophets. 
fulfilled. Verse 32, and spitefully treated and spit upon or spat upon. So 32, insulted and will be spat upon. Verse 42, and Jesus said unto him, receive thy sight, thy sight, thy faith hath healed thee. Not sure, but just going on the Greek says healed thee. 42, and has healed thee. See again, the faith has cured. Here's verse 2. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the tax collectors. But look at the spelling of his name. I don't believe it was A-E. I think it was just E. So let's look at the Greek. 19.2. Zacchaeus. 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 Verse 4, and he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree. So it's sycamore here, but then in 17 and 6, sycamine. And it was sycamore. Verse 4, this is the Greek, sycamore. Sycamore. This is the King James psycho more. Here's verse 9. And Jesus said unto him, This day has salvation come to this house. And then here's the Greek. Salvation has come to this house. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten talents. Minas or talents. It wasn't pounds, that's for sure. And said unto them, trade till I come. Not occupy. That's just standing around doing nothing. So let's go look at the Greek. It's 13. Gave them 10 minas. Trade until I come. Trade. Verse 20. And another came saying, Lord, behold, here is thy talent, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. It wasn't napkin. Let's look at the Greek. Stored up in a cloth, not a napkin. 23. Wherefore then gavest not, my, not thou my money into the treasury or the exchangers? It was the, the money exchangers or, or the treasury. 23. The Greek says t bank table, but that was the exchangers. Verse 27. But those mine enemies which would not that I should reign over them, bring them hither. And I, I'm not sure, but I think this was show them before me or, or really cast them before me. Cast them out before me. You can compare this to Matthew 25, verse 30, where he's casting them out into outer darkness. But it wasn't a death sentence. Verse 46, saying unto them, it is written, my house is a house, not the house, is a house of prayer. So let's look here. My house is a house of prayer. A house. Six. But if we say of men, all the people will stone us. Here's the Greek. But if we say from men... And he beheld them and said, What is this then that is written? The stone which the builders refused 
has become the chief cornerstone. So that was cornerstone. You see the letter C for reference? That's down here. So we'll go look at Psalm 118.22. Psalm 118.22. Verse 18. The stone which the builders refused has become the chief cornerstone. So that was cornerstone. Verse 18, whoever shall fall upon that stone shall be broken to pieces, but on whomsoever shall fall, it will grind him to powder. So, 18, here's the Greek, broken in pieces, broken in pieces. Verse 24, show me a coin, and the Greek is actually denarius, whose image and inscription hath it, and render therefore unto Caesar, that was give unto Caesar, so let's go look at 24, 24, show me a denarius whose image and inscription does it have, then give back the things of Caesar to Caesar, give back, let's look at denarius, yeah, denarius, in verse 35, but they which shall be counted worthy to obtain that world. So it was counted, not accounted. Here's the Greek. But the ones counted worthy to attain that. Counted worthy. Okay, we're looking for chapter 20, verse 17, about cornerstone. So, unfortunately, this has the current... Where is it? Right here. The current KJV. And then listen to the commentary. Whosoever shall fall upon... All right, no. What is this then that is written? The stone which the builders... That was refused. The same is become the chief cornerstone. Okay, so the word cornerstone as one single word, cornerstone, is zero times in the King James. It's been totally removed. Now, look at this commentary. Uh, da, 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 right here. For they recognized that Jesus was speaking about them. And so then he asked them, what does this parable mean? That which is written, the stone which the builders have rejected, the same has become the chief cornerstone. Then it gives you the scripture reference. I believe it's verse 22. Go, it does not say this in Psalms anymore. But that's how it used to be. Cornerstone is one word. Now it's zero times in the King James. Um, Peter. Yeah, right here. And this is the stone which was set not by you builders, but he has become the chief cornerstone and neither is their salvation in any other. Again, he's saying, I guess from Peter, the stone that was set at naught by the builders, the same has become the chief cornerstone. This is no longer in the King James. It's been reworded and altered. He says it again. So Peter brings it right back to them very forcibly, declaring, of Jesus. This is a stone which was set at naught by you builders, but the same is become the chief cornerstone. Oh, brothers and sisters. Chapter 21, this is verse 1. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their, I think this was offerings, tithes or offerings, into the treasury. Here's verse 4. But she of her poverty hath cast in all the living that she had. Let's go to the Greek. 21 and 4. 
only one over here. But she, out of her poverty, 5303, verse 16, and ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren. I think this was relatives, family of relatives. Uh, let's look at the Greek. 2016. Brothers and relatives and friends. So here's King James. Kins folks. Two S's. So I think it was relatives or family. Here's how most King James versions are. This is verse 18. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. That was just an A. Like this. But a hair of your head. A hair. There's verse 26. For the powers of the heavens. This was plural. Heavens shall be shaken. It's 26. For the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Heavens, plural. So here's chapter 22, verse 1. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover, and this was capitalized. Passover was capitalized. Then you can look down at when the Passover lamb and it was capitalized when the Passover lamb must be killed. Prepare us the Passover, capitalized. So here's the Greek Passover, capitalized. Seven and eight. Unleavened, capitalized. Passover. 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 My study Bible. Again, there's Passover capitalized. Then when you go to 7 and 8, it's not capitalized. It's not capitalized. Passover lamb. Here's verse 20. Likewise also, likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Covenant. Let's look at the Greek. 20. The new covenant in my blood. New Covenant. Okay, and this also has a, a re scripture reference, New Testament, with the E. So E is from Jeremiah 3131. Let's go look at that. So this is Jeremiah 3131. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. But, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. So, yeah, this is a new covenant. And since I'm here, I also wanted to show you this. The king of Babylon was Nebuchadnezzar. Nezer. This is Nebuchadrezzar. That R was an N. Nebuchadnezzar. That's verse 28. Verse 28. Ye are they which have continued with me in my trials. Was it temptations? So, let's look at that here in the Greek. 28. But ye, but you are the ones continuing with me in my trials. Not temptations. Here's verse 37. 37 for I say unto you that this that this that is written must yet be accomplished in me and he was numbered among the transgressors and you see that reference G G Isaiah 53 12 okay so here's Isaiah 53 12 it wasn't reckoned 53 12 he was numbered with the transgressors. Here's Mark, also from the New Testament, saying the same thing. Mark 15, verse 28. And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, and he was numbered with the transgressors. All right, verse 44. 
and being in an agony, he prayed more fervently, not earnestly, like he wasn't being genuine, more fervently, and by his sweat was, was as it were, great drops of blood falling down to the ground. Let's see what the Greek says. 44. He prayed more fervently. More fervently. Verse 59. And about the space of one hour, after another confidently affirmed, saying of a truth, this one, or this man, also was with him, for he is a Galilean. Notice how it's spelled. So that's verse 59. Let's go here. This is the King James. See the extra A? It's Galilean, which is like, like this. Only one A, or not the extra A in there. So, and this one, it wasn't fellow. Also this one was with him. Here's verse 69. Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit at the right hand of the power of God. Not sit on his right hand, it was sit at. So verse 69, here's the Greek. We'll be sitting at the right hand. Sitting at. Okay, this is Chuck Smith again with his commentary on Luke chapter 2. Now look, verse 1. Now the feast of unleavened bread drew nigh, which is called the Passover. Capitalized Passover, that's the way it should be. And then we're going to go down here to verse 7 and 8. This will focus. Seven and eight. The day or the preparation of the Passover. Now the day came of unleavened bread when the Passover must be killed. Again, capitalized Passover. Is that what, what it is in your King James? Let's look for verse eight. Yeah. They were to kill the lamb for the Passover. Passover began. Passover feast. Come on, verse eight. Maybe let's put it all together. There we go, verse 8. Go and prepare the Passover, capitalized. Where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And they made ready the Passover. I desired to eat this Passover with you. <laughs> Bam. This, go look in your King James. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Now it says New Testament. This is the cup. This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. Verse 5. And they were the more fierce, saying, He stirreth up the people, teaching throughout all Ju that was Judea, beginning from Galilee to this place. So, here's the Greek. Teaching throughout all Judea. Uh, Judea. Yeah, it wasn't Jewry. Here's verse 8. And when, and when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceedingly glad. There should be an L-Y there. Here's verse 32. And there were also two others, criminals or thieves, not male factors. It was criminals or thieves. So verse 32, here's the Greek, and also two other, two criminals. Two criminals. 2557. Okay, verse 33. I'm not 100% sure on this, but you can do the research on your own. And when they were come to the place, which is called the skull, 
or Golgotha. I know that's in other Gospels, Golgotha, the skull. But let's look at the Greek. So the Greek being called the skull. The skull. And look that up. 2898. Here's verse 35. And the people stood beholding, and the rulers also with them scoffed, sc scoffed him, saying, He saved others, let him save himself, if he be Christ, the chosen of God. So let's go look at the Greek. And the rulers with them also scoffed, saying, He saved others. Scoffed. Verse 39, and one of the criminals which were crucified blasphemed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. So, railed, it seems very new to me. Here's verse 39 in my study. And one of the malefactors, underline, criminals, Notice also the capitalization on the pronouns. Him. Save yourself. If you. On him. It's all over. When you come into your, your kingdom. Capitalized. Here's verse 41. And we indeed. And we indeed justly. For we receive the due reward of our deeds. Maybe that was recompense of our deeds. But this man hath done nothing wrong. So it wasn't a miss. Let's go look at 41. 41. But this one did nothing wrong. Did nothing wrong. 820. Here's my study Bible. It's verse 43. And Jesus said to him, Verily I say to you, two days shall be... Shall you be with me in paradise? Today is one word. So let's go look here. In the Greek, it's one word. Today. Today. King James, two words. Today. Okay, here's verse 45. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. So this is surprising to see it spelt this way, V-E-I-L, because... <laughs> In most King James, it's now spelt V-A-I-L. See the reference C? So C, that's Exodus 26. You'll see that in my next pick. But it's V-A-I-L. So it's pretty interesting to see it's spelt correctly. Here's King James and the veil, not V-A-I-L. That is very, very interesting. And the veil... And the veil. 2665. Here's verse 50. And behold, there was a man named Joseph, a counselor, and he was a good man and a just, a just. I think that was righteous. Didn't have the A either. So here's the Greek. And behold, a man named Joseph, being a counselor, a good and righteous man. Righteous. So it wasn't a just. Verse 51. He was of Arimathea. See the spelling with the extra A? It was just T-H-E-A. Here's my 611.51. See, that's spelled correctly. Incorrect. It's T H E A. T H E A. T H E A. This is verse 52. This man went unto Pilate and begged for the body of Jesus. I don't think it was begged, it was just pleaded, pleaded or asked for. So let's see what it says here in the Greek. Went to Pilate. This one asked for the body of Jesus. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Three, and laid it in a tomb. Jesus was 
buried in a tomb. So, in a tomb. Watch the tomb, 55. Watch the tomb. It wasn't sulpature. It was tomb. It even tells you, laid it in a sulpature, misspelled. It was tomb. Verse 54, and that day was the preparation day. Should be capitalized, and the Sabbath drew on. Sabbath should be capitalized. Let's go look at the Greek. It's 54, and it was the preparation day. And a Sabbath was drawing. Sabbath should be capitalized, but see preparation day. And here's my study Bible. It's verse 43. And Jesus said to him, Verily I say to you, two days shall be shall you be with me in paradise. Today is one word. So let's go look here in the Greek. It's one word. Two day. Two day. King James, two words, two day. Verse 1, so Sulpature was tomb, and go down to 4, and it came to pass as they were much perplexed, thereabout, behold, two angels stood by them in bright clothing. So this was angels. Verse 12, ran under the tomb, and stooping down, he beheld the linen cloth. It wasn't clothes, it was cloth. So here is the Greek in the tomb and the linen. Verse 25, then he said unto them, O foolish ones, Let's see here, O foolish ones. Verse 27, and beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he explained unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Verse 39, and behold my hands and my feet <clears throat> that it is I myself, touch me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones as you see me have. Touch me. Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. See how it's underlined? Handle me. It's touch. Verse 46, and said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer. It wasn't behooved. And see the spelling also. So here's my study. Look how it's spelled, behooved. So no, it was necessary for, and I believe Christ was actually Messiah here. So here's the Greek, 46. So it has been written, and so the Christ must suffer and arise from the dead. Nothing about beho behooved. In verse 47, and that repentance and remission of sins shall be preached in his name among all the nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen. And that is the end of my study of the Gospel of Luke. So here is the last example, chapter 24, 46. Where is it? And thus it behooved. I'm, I'm pretty sure behooved is a recent insert here, but it has the Messiah. Now I do remember Messiah here. Not, not Christ, but Messiah in this particular one. So let's read it. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it must, I think it was, and thus it, thus it must be the Messiah to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. Should be, 
maybe shall, shall be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem, and you are the witnesses of these things. So, in the current King James says Christ, the, you know, this was not there. So, on to the next chapter. Y'all have a great, great study as I have. This has been a long, long journey. So here is Blue Letter Bible. I'm in the commentaries. We're going to go down to Dr. J. Vernon McGee. Wait. This will give the whole outline for the whole book of Luke. And we'll see uh, how this cannot be the same as the others. So, just give me a moment. Shepherds. Jesus calls disciples for the second time. Okay, this is between chapters 5 and 9. Cleanses lepers, heals man with palsy, calls Matthew, gives parables on new garment and new wineskins. Chapter 5. No, it doesn't say wineskins anymore. Plucking grain. Now it says corn. There wasn't corn in the Bible. Just staring on restores life. Yeah, it's John the Baptist, not first name, last name, John Baptist. Cast out demons. Then demons is no longer in, in the whole King James Bible. It says devils, but it was originally demons. Capital H, capital H. Reverential pronouns. See, demons by Beelzebub. Now, now in the current one it says devils. So we got Passover capitalized. Barabbas is released. Mocked by one thief. Doesn't say thief, it's male factors. It says tomb, and the current King James says sepulcher. Unfortunately, they still misspelled Arimathea, T H E A, but tomb, not sepulcher. Okay, Jesus promises to send Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is not in Luke. It only says Holy Ghost, but it was Holy Spirit. So here's Luke chapter 6 and verse 15. And the son and the son of Alphaeus and Simon called Zelotes. Well, Zelotes was zealot. I had somehow overlooked this verse in my first study, but look here at Alphaeus. See the spelling? In a lot of the New King James, it'll have an A-E-U-S. That's, that, this is how it should be. And then Simon, who, who is called the Zealot, or Simon called the Zealot. So let's look at the Greek. <clears throat> See, Simon, the one being called Zealot being called the Zealot, 2207. So just to add to that, here is the Acts of the Apostles, verse 13. See, it has it spelled correctly here now. Now it looks like a first name and last name. It was Simon the Zealot. So let's look at the Greek. It's 113. Yeah, see, it's got Alphaeus correct and Simon the Zealot.
Simon the Zealot. This is the King James. Wasn't first name, last name. Hmm. This is one of my dictionaries, and as you can see here, it has zealot as a word in the dictionary, but zealot does not exist in the King James. So you can read it. Their fanatical violence eventually provoked the Roman War. Simon the Zealot was disting distinguished from Simon Peter by this epithet. Then it gives you two verses to reference. Acts and Luke, and it says Zelotes, which is the Greek. The Greek is Zelotes, but it was, it was Zealot, Simon the Zealot.